Hi guys, um, I'm John Kitson. I shoot competition, shooting sports. This is the gun of choice I'm using in the limited division. I'm a Grandmaster limited shooter. I reload predominantly. The reason I do this, save money. It allows me to hit the power factor I'm required to in the matches, but all it also does is allow me to define my accuracy for the gun that I'm using, because it's all about speed and accuracy. So one of my sponsors are Brass Guys, and they take once fired brass, either predominantly military or law enforcement, especially in the pistol calibers, they remanufacture it. That's the main reason I like this product. I don't have to take it off the ground, clean it, tumble it, prep it. I've cut out all those stages. I can now get my ammo loaded, go to the range and concentrate on what I'm actually trying to do. Another reason why I prefer to use the once fire brass that's been prepped for me, cost. Predominantly the cost of buying brand new brass, having it shipped in, or going to a local store and buying it, is higher than actually using this stuff that is manufactured or remanufactured for my use. In conjunction with that, they've made a product called Brass Butter. It is a case lube. It's designed, obviously, to lube the case so that it feeds through the system a lot easier. It will leave some sort of slick residue on the case. That slick residue does not get sticky and it doesn't gum up. What I found is this case of ammunition here was loaded approximately about three weeks ago. I still have a thin residue on there. It's not sticky, it's not gummy. Um, and I've actually found that when I'm loading it into a magazine, it f seems to feed into the magazine a little bit better. Most case loops you have to clean off. So what I would do is I'd take a baking tray, just grab a bunch of brass, and I would lay it out and just ensure it was all flat. At that point, I would then take the brass butter and I would just give it a, a light coat dust in and then just mix it around. Maybe give it another little dust. You obviously don't want to go too crazy, don't want to get too much um, brass butter only lube onto the system. So be aware, brass butter is used differently for reloading all rifle and pistol brass when you're not using carbide dyes. So when you're reloading rifle, you typically spray it on and then wait 10 to 15 minutes until most of the lube has evaporated away, leaving a thin smooth coating and then proceed. However, for reloading pistol brass with the carbide dies like I do, this is how I use it. This is one method that I used to employ. This was prior to getting the case feeder. Now I have the case feeder, my life is so much easier. All I do is I take the brass from the container I tip it into the container itself and then I take my brass butter and all I do is give it a bunch of sprays trying to cover as much as I can but only in a light dusting. At that point when I load every hundred primers I will refill the primer tube, I will take the brass butter and I'll apply another two small sprays of coating. I will only do that probably in the first 200 primers or if I top up my case feeder. Okay guys, uh, that kind of covers everything I had to, to say to you tonight. Um, what I can say is if you're interested in this product, get online, order some. You can go to brassguys.com, um, their phone numbers are on there, their email address is on there for contact if you have any questions uh, further from tonight.